Proliferation of physical disability at Mpirani village, Magarini sub-county in Kilifi County, has remained a mystery even after doctors allegedly visited the village to conduct a study to establish the cause. More than 200 people, including children, have a strange physical disability. Life is nearly unbearable for them, to say the least. And as Fatma Bugu reports, they also face rejection and isolation by the society. <laughs> It is one year three months since a bunch of doctors from Nairobi came to this village in Mpirani in Kilifi County and collected various samples from many people with physical disability. They allegedly promised to give results after concluding their research, but up until now, nothing. Hope is fast fading away. This is 28-year-old Eunice Carissa. She says life for her has been a bunch of bitter berries. She is the mother of seven children born with deformities. She says their children were considered cursed, bewitched and possessed. Her life and that of her children has been a difficult one. She wonders why she cannot give birth to normal babies. Her story is no different to that of 27-year-old Eunice Kadi, who says that her disabled child has a lot of medical needs to attend to, hence making her unable to fend for her family. Riziki Suede gave birth to a bouncing baby girl at the Malindi Sub-County Hospital 16 years ago, but problems started months after birth and have remained so to date. She says that doctors visited the village in 2022 when the matter was first highlighted in the media, but they have never received any results to show the cause of the disability trait. If you are going to go to the village, you will talk to Nairobi. For example, you will come to the For almost eight hours, you will come to the village. You will come to the village at 10 o'clock. And you will come to the village at 10 o'clock. And you will come to the village at 10 o'clock. And you will come to the village at 10 o'clock. And you will come to the village at 10 o'clock. And you will come to the village at 10 o'clock. A few kilometers away is the home of Mze Kitsao. Her wife, Juma Jefwa, has been bedridden for 13 years. Mze Kitsao Jefwa says her wife's problem started as a rush on her legs. Now she can't move on her own. <laughs> Kitsao says that the condition has pushed his family further into poverty. He is desperate since he cannot leave her unattended to go to work. This is the 20th year under this condition. We have no food and school fees for our children, and I am bedridden. I can't move on my own. <laughs> Sasa nataka usaidizi kutoka kwa serikali ili ni, nione hapa na mimi na ishilakisha jile shida nyingi sana zinanipungukia. It is estimated that the village has more than 1,000 people with disability, most of it congenital. However, only 250 are registered by a local organization, the Magarini Disabilities Project, a community-based organization 
that caters for the welfare of people living with disability. Tukadiria hivi wanaweza kufika kama alifu moja hivi. E, kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali iwa tambue. E, na kutoka makajana mpaka sahi hatujapata msada wote. Na pengine serikali inaweza kutupatia madakia na kutibika. Naweza vijana wetu wakaza pengine ama hali yu ikabadilika. Walimavu ni wengi ni natishia hata ndoa. Kuna watoto na kuna watu hata watu wazima. Na ule mavu usi kwa amba wengine wanazaliwa nao kama hawa watoto amba wamewaona. Lakini kwa wengine wanapata ule mavu baada ya kugua. National Council for Persons with Disabilities iweza kuingilia kati na kusaidia hawa wale mavu katika hii eneo kupitia vifaa vya kazi waweze kujikimu kimaisha especially wale ambao wako na umri wa miaka zaidi ya miaka 18 waweze kupata kipato na kusaidia hata wale watoto ambao wameweza ku, kuathirika na ule mavu ukatokeza mtu mm -hmm. Ambaya. They now want a special school built in the area and the victims included in the social welfare program of the national government. Kuna watoto ambao hawaendi shule kwa sabu shule ziku mbali mbali. Kweza kufanyo assessment na identification of the nearby schools. Di wale watoto waweze kukua enrolled uh, katika mashule kulingana na the needs that they have. The mavu wengi wako nyumbani kwa sababu wanasema hata tuke watoa usaidizi utatoka wapi. Kwa hivyo hapa tumenunua tunataka kituo cha wale mavu wasaidiwe vifaa cha wale mavu vikuje na wasaidiwe kimasomo they also want the government to move with speed and provide the report from the samples collected by doctors here a year ago they hope the information will help families avoid the disabilities in future kwa hivyo hii ni hali ambayo inaonyesha bado ni hali endelevu na tungependa kushinikiza wizara ya afya iweze ku chukua jambo hili kwa udharura na kuweza kukamilisha ule utafiti ndio iweze kujulikana haswa chanzo cha ule mavu huu ni nini for now they are living for their children their greatest fear being that such cases will continue to rise if nothing is done fatimabugu ntv